in my head, I don't understand why I should use fish from uh, the other side of the world, while well, we have some of the most uh, beautiful fish and shellfish uh, in the world up here. For me, it's, it's important to use local food, uh, also to, to develop some things up, up here in Greenland. So that's, that's my biggest ideology on the food, uh, especially up here, eat local. We, we need to, to get back to our roots, and so that's, that's my big thing with me. Lalia is the first restaurant where we serve mostly uh, traditional dishes. The thing we want to achieve with Lalia is to do a change in the restaurant scene up here. So we start to use more local food and I hope that people and the restaurateurs on the coast will start using more, more local food. The biggest struggle is to to get the, the food from the different areas where it can be harder, you know, when we are thinking on infrastructure. Uh, but I think we have been doing good because if you work hard enough on it, it it's possible. So I don't see it so much as a struggle, but as a, a challenge that I need to overcome. We get the food from uh, all over Greenland. It can be from uh, Kranach, it can be from south of Greenland, eastern Greenland. Mostly we get our stuff from uh, the villages. Right now. From Oratet we get our dried fish. Uh, from the south we get our dried herbs, things like that. So that's Galalia is like a, a phase out to the world and of course to the other rest restaurants in Greenland to tell them that it's possible to, to also only use Greenland with food. It's a revolution for me and, and definitely for, for the chefs I'm having. They, they are all young and, and they have the strength to, to show that maybe we are not so many chefs up here, but we want to show the power of that, uh, that we want to use the, the local food. So. Let's uh, eat Greenlandic food when we are in Greenland and uh, eat Spanish food when we are in Spain. Huh? <laughs> <laughs>